Hello, my hair's a little bit of a mess, but we won't worry about that. Last month, I conducted an experiment in secret. I wanted to see how much I could make from mining Bitcoin on my computer. This month has been sort of interesting, and I want to share the results. So, you may have noticed in the background of some of my videos that come out this month, that I've been running this little scary command line interface in the background, and that's because I've been mining Bitcoin, um, and I just wanted to see if it was profitable or not, or if it was viable, and this video, I'm going to be going over the results of this secret experiment. I do like to do these experiments from time to time, and if you do want to see more of them, be sure to hit subscribe and ring the bell, because I upload weekly now, uh, as opposed to whatever, <laughs> wherever, why I've uploaded whenever. Uh, Twitter is always a thing as well, so be sure to check that out. So, yeah, you can see that I've been even mining it in the tray down here, and what what is Bitcoin? Well, I'm going to explain to you. Bitcoin is a cryptocurrency. It started off basically worth pennies back in the day. Uh, I, this graph doesn't go back um, far enough. But it's now worth 41k. So, yeah, a little bit, a little bit crazy. You can see why people were, uh, um, you know, adopted it. So it did hit a peak back in 2017, but things have died down. Why well, say died down? It's still worth like 2,000 back in the day. But because of the rise of like more powerful GPUs from Nvidia, for example, the 3090, 3080, 3070, etc., etc., uh, it's been very, very crazy. And obviously, we've got a whole silicon shortage as well, coronavirus. Blah, 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 blah. All this has caused the Bitcoin price to absolutely skyrocket to ridiculous levels. So, you know, maybe you want to get into this sort of slice of pie here. How would you do so? So, you could mine Bitcoin as well as buying it, of course. But you can mine Bitcoin. So, Bitcoin mining uses... Well, you can use three things. You can use your CPU. CPU in your computer, bada bing bada boom, mine Bitcoin, tink tink tink, Minecraft pickaxe done. <laughs> Except using a CPU is kind of inefficient because it it handles instructions differently. What people discovered earlier on is that GPUs or graphics cards are better suited to the task because they have I don't know, more memory or something, I don't know. There's a reason why it's faster to mine on a GPU than a CPU. Um, so yeah, graphics card mining is really, really good. So I've got a G4 1660Ti. That's a pretty good card for mining. And, oh, excuse me. Oh. Yeah, it's a pretty good card for mining. And it's surprisingly profitable for the amount that you pay for. So a lot of people actually buy graphics cards, mine Bitcoin just to make their investment back on their card, which is actually pretty smart. So yeah, this is a um, graphics card. Um, discrete GPUs are the best. Integrated ones might not be the best. Like say if you have a laptop with an integrated uh, chip, little GPU, might not be suited to the task. You're going to want a discrete, dedicated graphics card. Like the one I've got in my computer down here. Now, over the years, Bitcoin has gotten harder and harder to mine, um, the more it's been worth. So this is the Bitcoin block reward halving countdown. So back in the day, um, Bitcoin used to be worth quite a lot. Now it's only worth 6.25 coins per block. And you're probably thinking... Oh, that's uh, pretty decent, actually. Uh, six Bitcoin, that's uh, six times 40K. That's quite a lot of money. But here's the thing. It takes a while to mine these blocks. Uh, there's only 21 million Bitcoin that will ever be created ever in the history of, well, the world, basically. And as you, we get closer to that 21 million limit, the reward for mining will half. And this is reflected in this graph here. You can see uh, Bitcoin millions 
um, and the inflation rate as well as blocks that have been well discovered so you see that it starts off high it goes and that is because Bitcoin kind of exploded on the scene so approximately by the year 2140 we have mined every single Bitcoin however this is approximation and as you can see from this graph um, yeah starting to get a little bit crazy uh, it has sort of flatlined a little bit but this could all change so people tend to mine in groups so because it's hard to get a single block people tend to mine in groups um, which is known as pools so people mine in pools and basically depending on how much work you did to mine a specific block it will be evenly distributed between everyone who helped now this is um, how Bitcoin mining has worked um, for quite a while actually and um, let's just say it's pretty inefficient right now to mine using this now this is an ASIC an ASIC is an application specific integrated circuit this basically means that it is built for one specific purpose so for example a PC it's built to do many things. Right now, I'm looking at a web page while recording a video. Next minute, I could be in a Discord call. Next minute, I'll be playing a game. Next minute, I could be doing whatever. Um, an ASIC is built for one specific purpose, and that is it. It cannot do anything else. This is designed to mine Bitcoin, and that is it. Therefore, its efficiency is much greater than a standard GPU, and you'll probably earn... Um, more from that 6.25 obviously you could solo mine and try and mine that block but you'll be there for a while so yeah um now luckily there are multiple cryptocurrencies there is more than one bitcoin um there's litecoin dogecoin you might have heard from elon musk but one which is actually pretty cool to mine is ethereum ethereum is sort of built for gpu mining um and it sort of like helps people who have like weaker hardware or people that can't afford what it is because these are actually really expensive if I go to the shop oh, you'll see that they're like yeah 5,000 so yeah this is actually really good for people who want to sort of mine um, like me basically just do an experiment see how much I make and it's really good for mining yeah it's not worth as much as Bitcoin but it's significantly easier to mine. So, how have I been mining? Well, I've been using a program called NiceHash. NiceHash basically um, mines alternate coins like Ethereum and stuff like that using different algorithms and automatically converts it into Bitcoin. Um, it also works by um, a system which is really cool. So, they also have a way to buy power so let me go over power real quick so depending on how fast you mine is determined by a statistic called hashing power so my GPU runs at around 30 uh, mega hashes um, CPU runs at like killer hashes so most mining hardware now actually run at like tera hashes and giga hashes so mine i'm at a slight disadvantage here so what the really cool thing nice hash does is that if you want to you can buy hashing power to mine bitcoin or whatever coin you want now this hashing power has got to come from somewhere right and you'd be correct it comes from the users who use nice hash to mine so it's sort of like a cycle really if one half fails the other half fails if that makes sense so you can basically get a gist of what I'm trying to say here I'm gonna show you how um, I've been doing now obviously I can't go back to the very start but I can show you the past week so as you can see um, this little line here shows how much I've earned before it's been paid into my nice hash wallet up here and for the most part I've been mining 24 7 there has only been a few breaks where I've had to stop it due to like dumb reasons but you can see that um, it's been going pretty well 
Now, you'll notice on this graph there's a load of, like, squiggly lines. This... Oh, excuse me. Oh. This is sort of like a pay graph, so it's, like, a predicted how much you're going to earn. Obviously, um, it fluctuates depending on what's happening. You're not going to be mining at a constant sort of rate. It will go up and down depending on a load of different factors. Um... And you'll also notice that how there's like two different sort of like colors here. Um, so remember how I said how CPU mining is really ineffective. The CPU is displayed as this dark orange. The GPU is this light orange. So you can see how much better a graphics card is at mining Bitcoin compared to a um, CPU. So how much have I actually earned from the this is the big question. So, for mining, for a month, I have made one hundred and thirty-one pounds. Sorry, dollars and fifty-seven cents. Now, I have actually converted some of this into USD Tether, but yeah, this is how much I've earned. And honestly, it's actually pretty decent. I wouldn't recommend just leaving your computer on. Like, obviously, if you know what you're doing, you can. Um, there are ways to do it safely. For example, make sure you always underclock your GPU when you're doing this kind of stuff to avoid long-term damage. Um, NiceHash does this pretty well uh, automatically. Uh, if you do want to mine Bitcoin, uh, I recommend NiceHash. It's pretty cool. There's also this one down here called Cryptex. This is a referral link, so just be aware of that. So yeah, that's basically it. Uh, I've shown you how much I've made. Um, now, before I go... I'm going to talk to you about BlockFi. The cool thing about this um, is it's a place to store your Bitcoin and over time it will generate interest. Uh, this is compound interest, depends on how valuable the coin is. Um, but over, every month you get paid a little bit of interest. I've actually hidden the amount of interest that I get because haha. Um, but yeah, over time if you hold your crypto it will get more and more and more valuable as well as getting more and more valuable as the price of it goes up. So that's the really cool thing about BlockFi. It's not like other wallets where you just leave it there and it will just do nothing. It goes up and down due to market volatility. No, you can actually earn interest um, just by not touching it, which is really, really cool. So I, this, this isn't a sponsored segment. I just use it because I like the product. So if you want to check it out, links in the description as well. Um, again, thank you for watching this like really ranty video. Um, I did go waffle on a little bit, but this stuff is pretty interesting. If you want to see more of it, then let me know in the comment section down below. Hit subscribe, ring the bell. I said all this at the start of the video, but I do upload once a week now. Uh, if you want to know when I upload, bell probably doesn't work, but yeah. Um, you can always check on Twitter. Uh, that's in somewhere you'll find it just officially sp so that's it for now um this is a really ex exciting experiment to run i do like to run these experiments if you want when the next one is um truth is you probably won't <laughs> because i just do like to do these things in secret um i do do public experiments though so thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video